Hey, what's up guys, I'm Ryan, happy new year, hope you guys are doing fantastic, apologies for my voice, I have a bit of a cold. Today, let me show you the Alphawise G70 dash cam, hope you guys like this video, so sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay guys, let's do something different in this video, let's bring the video on the screen and I'll show you the unboxing, I'll show you the camera while I'm driving. Let me know if you guys like this way in the comments. So this is the Alphawise G70 dash cam. It's a 1080p camera, full HD, wide angle, Sony IMX323 sensor and uses a Novatec chipset. This particular one, the G70, uses a supercapacitor instead of a battery, which means you don't have that fear of the battery to explode in warm temperatures. Let's have a look what's in the box. While I'm recording this video, Gearbest is doing a flash sale on this dash cam. There's a link down below, have a look if you can get a good discount. At the moment it's around 30 something dollars. In the box you'll find a mini USB lead, so you can connect it to your PC. There is also a permanent adhesive mount with an extra sticker. And a section cup mount, just in case you don't want to leave it there forever. Of course, there's a car charger with an extra USB port. It's a corner plug, so the wire will face up. You can also find in the box a user manual with a few instructions and a QR code so you can download the app for both Android and iOS. I'll show you the app in a minute. The app is called Lucky Cam. Imagine that. Moving on, guys. There's also two screen protectors in the box. Nice touch from Alphawise. And last but not least, of course, the camera itself, the G70 from Alphawise. A full matte black camera for me, it's a plus. Wide angle lens, aperture f1.5, full HD, of course. One second. On the back of the camera, there's a 2.45 inches IPS screen and four buttons, a menu button, up and down and OK. On the side of the camera, there's a mini HDMI out, a reset hole and a mini USB charging port. On the top, a power button, the mount and on the side, the AV port, a microphone, I think and the micro USB slot supports up to 64 gigs and I do recommend a 10, a class 10 or up. Let me now show the menus really quick. So we have the resolution 1080p. Of course you should use 1080p. Loop recording, you can choose how big you want your files. HDR on or off. G sensor. This is according to Alphawise, the high precision uh, sensor DA380, which will lock the file in case of an accident. We have the exposure settings, also motion detection. You can choose to record audio or not, data stamp on the screen, like you're seeing below. And of course, you have the settings for the Wi Fi. I'll show you that next. Date and time, auto power off, key tone for the keyboard, languages. AV out if you want to connect this to the TV, screen saver, the frequency and to format the SD card which I recommend every single time you use a new one. Like all dash cams, when you plug the power it will turn on and start recording automatically and vice versa. Regarding the app, you need to download the app called Lucky Cam. And the password is 123 till 8. And inside the app, you get a live feed from the camera. As you can see, not too much lag, to be honest, pretty good. You can also browse the files on the camera itself and download the files to your phone if you wish to. 
In addition, you can adjust the settings of the camera directly on your phone. That's all for the menus, app. Now let's have a look at the camera footage itself. This is what matters, guys. What do you think? I quite like it. It's slightly over sharpened, uh, similar to the DPI Mini 3. I don't know if you guys watched that video or not. Let me bring to the screen the file details. This is a three minute file. As you can tell, 350 megabytes more or less. MOV file type and the codec it's H264. Next, let's have a listen at camera's microphone. Let's go back to my cousin, which is driving the car, which is also Ryan. So what you're listening now is the sound picked from the camera's microphone. I'm going to indicate here, see if you guys can hear the sound of the indicator. Okay, back to me, Ryan, as well. And now, guys, let's have a look at the night footage of this dash cam. And there you have it, guys, with the f1.5 aperture. In my opinion, the night footage is quite good. You can tell clearly everything that goes around you. You can read the number plates. And if you notice the wide view angle, let you see and record, of course, everything. Like, for example, on this traffic light. Yeah, I'm, I, quite, I quite like this camera. For the price, I think it's a good buy. Nothing major to report here. I didn't have a chance to test the um, the direct sunlight because yeah, it's winter and it's the UK. Next, let me show the, the, the junction between two clips. Some dash cams will lose some footage when the three minute file, for example, ends and starts a new one. So let me put the next clip and the next clip will start now. As you can tell, no footage was lost, which is obviously good because an accident could happen in that split of a second. Saying that, guys, I'll leave a link down below in the video description so you guys can have a look at the Alphawise G70 dash cam sent by Gearbest for me to review. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you guys like this video. If you do, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope I can see you all in the next one.